Well, everybody, welcome back to NB Edits. Today, we are still on the boat with Cody. If you guys don't know who Cody is, he's basically a hammer. The guy always puts us on fish. Uh, I will leave all of his information down. But today, we are out of the Fox River. We are catching some walleyes. Look at that guy. He's already been hooked once. Oh, but yeah. He got away, which I will do the same. See you later, guy. So the strat right now uh, that we've figured out here is it's about 50-50. We're doing live bait, jig and minnow. And then the other half, we're using quarter ounce to three eighth ounce blade baits. Uh, Cody in the last video was absolutely clapping them on more of like a natural color. Uh, he ended up losing that. Looks like I actually lost my back hook on this one. That's not good, but I am using brighter colors and just caught that fish. So Brandon's still using live bait. Uh, basically, we're just up here by the dam. We're gonna be doing some jigging and seeing if we can catch some more fish before the sun goes down. We probably got like a solid hour, hour and a half before we gotta head in or before it goes dark. So we're gonna see if we can make it. Mix up dog. First fast back out there. With a blade bait. Yeah. Feels better than the other ones, unless I hooked them weird. You know that? I don't know. I haven't seen them. Oh yeah, it's nice. I probably don't need a net. I got them. Wow. Well, he ends up in the net. Huh? One, first hop. It's that the blade red trouble. bait. It's the red trouble. I caught one before that, but there's another one. Probably a 17-inch walleye. I gave her one pop with the freaking blade bait. And uh, smoked it. I must have cast that straight on his head. You know, you're right, Cody. Blade bait fishing's fun. It is, isn't it? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Look at that. Brandon's hooked up. We must have a school. Well, the best one for you. I'm not kidding. Big fish. Boy, oh, yeah. That's a nice one. There we go, baby. Boys and girls. Woo! That's a nice one. Let's go, baby. That's what we're after right there. That one came up and just clobbered it hard. Second That's a beauty right there. Second nice female we've caught. Yeah. Today so far. Cody Chunky. shot one earlier in our last video and then Brad has taken turns. Feels real good because every single fish I've caught has been like 15, 16 inches. I did have that one that came up way earlier today. That was uh, probably like 19, maybe pushing 20, but this one was a fat one. I could feel it. Just the way it hit, just throttled me. Very nice fish. We're gonna get a couple pictures real quick. Sun's going down. We don't have a ton of time, but I'm sure we're gonna get a couple more on the boat. All right, one last look at this beauty before she goes back. I'm gonna go ahead, get her back into the water. That feels good. That's why we come up to the fox right there, boys. Look at that, swims back. That one just freaking clobbered her, boys. Woo, we love that. Oh, well, live bait paid off. This is what Brandon's using. I told you I was using a blade bait. He's using that Kaolin eyeball. Googly eye? Is that what that's called? I think so, yeah. Kaolin it's got a googly little eye. Rattle to it. Little rattle. Chartreuse. The walleyes love it. Somebody catch another fish. All right. Fish. Doesn't feel big though. Uh, no, I don't think so. God, the blade bait though, it just does not get old. Now that I switched over, God, is it fun. It's fun, isn't it? It really is. 
Just a small guy. But it's so fun when they hit on this blade bait because. Oh, Cody's hooked up. Look at that. Well, there's my fish. Got Cody's fish. Like I was saying with this blade bait, basically all I'm doing here, I'll show you guys. Cast it out. I'm using a quarter ounce, so give it about, I don't know, 10 seconds. Let her sink to the bottom. Once you got it to the bottom, I'm basically reel down, give it a pop. Let it sit, reel down, give it a pop. Let it sit. And just keep on repeating that until you get back to the boat. And what I've noticed so far today is when I go down to reel, and then as soon as I pick it up to give it another pop, that fish is usually on. So they're following it down to the bottom, pinning it, and I'm setting the hook and getting them in. Cody just caught that one on a jig and minnow. Yeah, first cast. And uh, Brandon caught that big one on a jig and minnow. But these fish are hot and heavy in here. They're a fish freaking everywhere. Females are starting to get mixed in, so. Let's get another one. This is fun. I got a, oh, that's mine. Here, I got a recorder. females. Oh yeah, that's nice fish. Get in the net. Oh yeah. In the net. Score. Well, that's multiple females. It. That's probably bigger than my last one. Let's see, girl. Oh, a yeah. short. 23 and a half, 22. 22. 22. 22. So she's a little longer, or a little shorter than I thought. She's plump though. She, uh, she's definitely plump. My other one actually probably was a little more thick, um, but that other one was probably a little longer too, but they're probably pretty close. So, I mean, our, our guesses probably weren't too far off. I think I, I think I said like 23, 24 on that last one. So probably pretty close. This one's 22 inches. Awesome fish though. Definitely would like to see some bigger fish hit the, hit the net though, hopefully this week. Um, you know, that 26 and 27 inches and bigger caliber. Oh, yeah. But we have been getting bigger ones, like yeah. this trip than the last yep. one. Yep, so every every time we go out, it, it's, it seems like uh, um, there's a couple more bigger ones in there. So, like I said, once that water warms up a couple degrees, it's gonna be game time, so awesome. We're gonna get a couple pictures of this one too, and then uh, let her go back and do her thing. Well, oh. Cody uh, holding the fish quick. I was snagged. about to take pictures. Got the jig out. <laughs> And then this one just came now we got a double picture. God, and you know what? Need a net for that one? No, no, it's not that big. We'll just boat flip her right in. Holy cow! Look at the difference, huh? See, yeah, that's what we're talking female. about. Female, big female. It's actually milking. Look right at now. that! Wow. Well, this guy is going for this girl. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're probably hanging out. That's wow. what they're. Uh, that's what they're here for. That's the difference, though. The difference. I mean, <laughs> look at that. Yep. This is what we're used to catching, especially up by us when we fish the Wisconsin River. This is what you catch all day. This is what you want to catch and bigger. All right, let's just go so I get some pictures of Cody. <laughs> yeah, See awesome ya. fish though. We've had a pretty good night so far. I think this is probably like our 25th fish in the boat already, and uh, she'll be all spunked up, ready to go back down to the depths. Awesome fish. Brandon just put a new minnow on. He just hooked up. I'm gonna grab a new minnow, put it on my jig, and hopefully hook up again. Guys are melting. Tons of fun. So much fun. Oh god, huge. Just catching giants out here. Probably could take the sunglasses off, but something about it just. Yeah, you know, the sun is down. Yeah, you'll have that. Hey, wait. Who the heck is these guys? Hey, guys. Go ahead. All right. You could come on in if you want. Sweet. <laughs> We're gonna give that one the minnow. See you later, buddy. All right, well, gonna grab another minnow. See if we can get into a couple more. Might be one of our last fish for the night. Sun is going down. Nick has to work at like 4 a.m. And we're 
hour and a half from home, still gotta take the boat in, do all that hoopla, you know, so. Meet up with that guy. Yeah, you know. we gotta somehow get that guy, and uh, God, he's so ugly. I just. This guy in the middle? The guy in the middle. That guy on the left, smoke show. Guy on the right, whew, big swinger. Guy in the middle though, ugly as can be. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Nothing, All right, guys. Nothing changes. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna keep at it. See if we can get you know a couple more, pack a couple off. But uh, probably gonna be one of the last fish in the night. Well, boys, I think that's gonna be it for us. Time to start packing things up, heading back. We still gotta pick up John. We gotta obviously get everything put away here as far as our fishing gear, our camera gear get the boat onto the trailer. We got a lot of work still to do. We'll see you guys when we get back to the truck. Alrighty guys, well, as you can tell, we are back at the truck. We've got the boat all loaded up. Had a day out there. John, you uh, <laughs> can't even take you seriously. How many did you catch though? Come on. Two. Two. See, the boys in their boat had a little bit different plan. They were, had a little bit more aggressive approach going for a big girl, I would say. And uh, we just wanted to get some numbers. So I think we had probably, I don't know, I'd say at least 25 pushing 30 fish combined, which you guys saw a portion of those fish in last week's video. If you haven't seen that, make sure to go check it out. But uh, yeah, overall, it was a good night. We had a lot of fun and uh, we're definitely gonna be getting back down here pretty soon. We might check out some of the more local dams up by us uh, later this week, but we are gonna be back out here on the Fox very shortly. And uh, two weeks, like we said, we got the Swamp Donkey Tournament. So it's gonna be fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you got questions for us, leave it down in the comment section below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. Also hit that notification bell before you go. Tight lines from NBS.